Hey y'all, it's Martha here. I am here to do another page with you. Now what these are, are window clings. And I painted the back white because I didn't, I wanted it to be brighter on this black page than it would have been. Probably not the best idea because I got some on the front and had to wipe it off. There's still a little bit on the front, but it's okay. And then for some of these, which I'm probably not going to use on this page, I just glued them onto the cardstock they were already on, the backing, and just uh, cut it out. So I'm probably not going to use these for this page, but I wanted to share with you. Now, since that, I don't want to try to rub that paint off that plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac. Now, let me see how I would like to position these. Something kind of like that, maybe. I don't know. Or like this might be better. Well, something like that, I guess. Or should it be like this? Yeah, I guess that might be better. Alright, let's go ahead and put this tall one down. Let's see how this Fabri-Tac does with this. So you can see a little bit of paint on there. Still, I might be able to get it off with a wet wipe when the glue dries. Or don't worry about it. It's a junk journal. <laughs> Probably what I should do. I had just about forgot about these. I wanted to try to use a few of them. The rest will probably have to be for next year. I might get a few more squeezed in on here. <laughs> They're kind of big for this book though, so I have to kind of pick and choose. This one does not look too happy. Like, you guys are weirdos. <laughs> See, it comes off pretty good of this plastic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this. sure it gets a good seal all right now what I thought I would do and I think these are probably well, they might be too big I don't know we'll see I'm gonna use these on here first though they're a little bit smaller Looks kind of like a bow, but it's a piece of candy. Okay, we have a lollipop here. I 
Okay, I don't think, oh, there is a few pieces of candy on this page too. Some candy corn. Oh, quite a bit on here, didn't realize. That's probably too close to the edge of that, the inside of that book. So I'm going to make it overlap the pumpkin a little bit. And here's another small one. Our pumpkins have texture. <laughs> Our jack-o'-lanterns. I just really think these are probably too big for with all these pumpkins. So let's just continue with some candy corn. I have a few more pieces here. Oh, I like this page. This is a fun page. pieces. Here's a little one. Mm. Let's, we have a couple of big pieces there too, but come on, I'll put this one here. I feel like I need something right there, too. Let's see if I can find candy corn. Here's a one, but let's see how it works. It's really tiny. It's a little bit different, but it's okay. Just so that's not the only one of that type of sticker, you know? I know, I'm weird. Okay, I think that's enough. So we got jack-o'-lanterns and candy. Very cool, I like that page. All right, we will work on another one here in just a sec. All right, y'all, this page is going to be really simple, I think. I have this napkin, and I've already cut it apart. Boy, it was really hard to get the lining off of that one. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but I think I'm going to try to do this one glue stick, too. And uh, I might put some of those stickers with it. It really, I'm not sure it needs much. It's really... Got a lot of stuff on it already. But I'm going to try. I really like this napkin. See if I can get it on here before I get it to water up on me. I had to cut some of the pretty star and bat off here so there would be plenty of room. I am going 
to go ahead and cut this edge off. And maybe I can just rip it off. Yeah. That was easy. Alright, let's see how some of these look on here. And they're still kind of big. Well, let's try some of these stickers here. I guess it will be like a continuation of uh, this page. <laughs> Some more candy here. Let's see, do we have another piece? Let's just go ahead and put this little, I think that's supposed to be candy too. So let's just go ahead and Put it on there. And what can we put? I think actually all of this is supposed to be candy. Let's put this eyeball. And he covers up the tea. Oh, here we go. Let's put this up here. It doesn't. Okay, it's probably enough, but I might dot, you know, I like to put some gems, so I might have put a few gems on there, just to make it shine, I gotta make it shine. <laughs> Y'all like my singing? Oh, I made a little tag to go in here. I haven't put a ribbon on it yet. Not sure I will. Ooh, that didn't come off my finger. Let's put one more way up here somewhere and call it a day for this page. Alright, I will. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put another one down here. Okay. I may be back um, because I might uh, go or, uh, figure out what I want to do next and come back with another page. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm back for one more before I end the video here. Um. That's the way that turned out. It's not quite dry, but I'm gonna go ahead. This is another window cling. And this time I just glued it onto its backing and cut around it roughly. 
And I thought since it's so dark, it needs a moon or something. So I've got to decide which side I want it on. I don't know, I kind of like it over here better. So let's go ahead and glue it down. Our full moon. And y'all, I didn't make it yellow. I don't know why I love to make moons yellow. <laughs> and then we're gonna just glue that right there. Gotta have a haunted house. Well, I've got my haunted house pockets, but you know, they don't look all that haunted to me. <laughs> Let's glue this house down. Okay, now I have some more of these rub-ons. I'm gonna try to get them to work over here. Say, so, I'm gonna put this one should work. It worked on that really thick page uh, where I had the glittery card stock. So hopefully it will work on this one too. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, y'all. And it's better to rub these longer than you think you should <laughs> so it don't come up or maybe I'm paranoid let's go this way now and I think that's probably hopefully good enough See if we got another one that we can do. Here we go. Here's one by its lonesome. Okay, and let's do it. Hope for the best. Looks pretty good. I like that. Now I just saw, let's turn this this direction so I don't have to reach a mile. I saw some bats over here. We gotta have some bats on our full moon. You know what? I better do it this way so that I can be sure I don't put them on upside down. All right.
Oh, it looks good. I love it. Okay, now I want to put one more on there because I like to do things in threes. Probably right here, huh? Okay, that's probably long enough. Oh, I love that, y'all. I really do. But I'm going to leave you here with this one. I like, like I said with other pages, I might add something later. But if you're still here and watched all that stuff, I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all later. Bye now.